A look from before as the Clippers made their way to the locker room, hoping to put on a show for their home fans tonight. Greetings, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for our latest presentation of NBA basketball. Hello, basketball fans. Brian Anderson here, courtside with Doris Burke and Grant Hill. Our reporter is Allie LaForce. Now let's take a look at the Kings opening lineup. Barnes and Murray at the three and the four. Then it's Demonis Sabonis. Then there's De'Aaron Fox. And it's Ellis in at the two. And for the Clippers, George and Kawhi, the talented forward pair. Terrence Mann is out there with James Harden. And it's Zubats in at the center position. Doris looks like the matchup in the middle tonight will be one to watch. Two of the best pivots on the planet. PA, big men with big time games. It is easy to know where the action's going to play out. So Sacramento will get the first possession here. Harden against Fox. Driving in. And it's Fox with the jam. Such a terror on the drive. Fox possesses blow-by speed, getting past defenders in a hurry. And George with the basket on the assist by Harden. Hey, take it right to the defense. Not a bad way to start this game. Fox against Harden. And here's Fox. Pass to Ellis. Five on the clock. Unloads from 13. It's tipped. And they get it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Now Los Angeles with it. Harden surveying the D. George left side. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. They'll pin that one on Harrison Barnes. Push the action a little bit. Paul George right now challenging defenders to stop him. Paul George. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from George. Well, Grant, for Sacramento, 2023 was a year to celebrate. Their first playoff appearance in 16 years. And they did it with a high-octane attack. Their offensive rating that season was historic, and it was just what the Kings needed to return to contention. George hits them both. You know, over his career, Paul George has racked up more than his fair share of accolades, Grant. Well, he's a fixture at All-Star Weekend, that's for sure. Now, he's made the all-defensive team more than a few times. He's had an outstanding career. Now here's Murray. Here's Sabonis. And Sabonis slams it in. What you love is a big man who understands the timing of a roll. Set the screen, get to the open spot. That is beautiful basketball. Harden against Fox. Left side, Harden. Pass to Zubats. And it's slammed in by Zubats. There you go. He's a monster at the rim. So athletic. Obviously, he plays on the attack. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Fox with the ball. He's picked up by Zubats. Tipped. How about Zubats work so hard on the defensive end? Nicely done. Down low. And it's slammed in by Zubats. Ooh, putting on a show for the fans. Going up for the graceful reverse. Oh, that had a little extra sauce on it, Grant. Murray, shot is good. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. Up top, George. He's guarded by Barnes. Barnes against George. Pass to Mann. Out to Leonard. Down to five on the shot clock. No good on the triple. 
What a nice individual defensive effort right there. Did a great job contesting. Barnes passes to Fox. Here's the teardrop. It's deflected. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. And the Clippers called for the foul. Well, if you're the Clippers, are you out looking for the next young star grid? Possibly, B.A. I mean, five of their top six scorers last year were over 30 years old. So they may need more production from your young guns to be a consistent contender. And the first one at the line is good. Well, Mike Brown is known as a great defensive coach, but he led the Kings to an all-time great offensive season in 2023. Yeah, and they actually ranked towards the bottom of the league defensively. So for them going forward, we'll see if Brown's expertise can bolster the Kings' defense. And both free throws good for Fox. This Clipper squad is quite the mix of players, Doris. Potentially the mix to make a run. I mean, certainly you need seasoned veterans that can still get it done and young guys who can contribute. They've got both of those things and incredible depth. For the Clippers, to me, it's about one thing. How healthy are your stars? Now, this is a reliable aspect of Paul George's game. That in-between jumper is pure. Barnes passes to Sabonis. Now Fox. The three. The shot is good on the assist by Sabonis. Fox has got seven. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Here's Mann. Pass to Zubats. Shoots over Sabonis. It's rebounded by Sabonis. The Kings leading. Fox with the ball. And it's Leonard picking him up. Denied by Leonard! Boy, just great instincts with great leg. Kawhi Leonard, since he entered the league, has been a tremendous defender. Woo! His energy is unmatched. The finish and transition, nice and easy. Now here's Fox. He has seven. On the money from 12 feet away. Nine points in the game. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Man, misses. And for him, that's a great look. Expect him to go right back to it if it's available. Uh, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. Doris, with all the star power on this Clippers team, it's surprising they haven't won 50 games in a regular season in the last six years. B.A., wow, that is such a striking indictment on the number of injuries this group has had. Load management, obviously, necessary on the one hand, but boy, it affected their rhythm and consistency. Free throw good from Barnes. A really solid free throw shooter. The team would like to see Barnes get to that line more often. Pass to man. Here's George. Over Barnes. And too long on the shot. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. Sabonis with a screen on Harden. Now here's Murray from behind the arc. Another three for Sacramento. The main role of Murray offensively, hit those threes, spread out that defense. Leonard against Murray. Will it go? Leonard can't get it to go. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. And it's Fox missing. The Clippers trail. Leonard with the ball. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Pass to George. And it's slammed in by Zubats. Well, there you see Paul George as a facilitator. He can create his own, or he can get somebody else open. Fox with the ball. Harden picks him up. Fox, that's good. Listen, you give a good shooter that kind of look, and it's going to go in. And Harden's got the ball here for the Clippers. Leonard on the wing. This one for three. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Sabonis has got six rebounds now in the game. Fox against Harden. 
Fox for pass to Sabonis. Rebound by the Clippers. Pass to George. And George with the jam. Oh, yes, sir. P.J. making it look easy. For Sacramento, they've got 8 of 15 shots to go. Here's Fox. And it's blocked by Harden. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Harden. And the Kings call time here. And the new group getting ready for the Clippers. Plumley's checked in for Zubats. Coffee comes in for Paul George. Powell, he's checked in for Mann. And it's Westbrook in for Harden. And a new group getting ready for the Kings. McGee, he's checked in for Damana Sabonis. Lyles comes in for Murray. Herter's checked in for Barnes. And it's Monk in for Ellis. Clippers on D, trailing by five. And just a great screen. And they got a high-powered finish out of it. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Now here's Westbrook. Pass to Plumley, And it's going to be a three-second call. Leonard way outside. Sacramento has gone two for three from outside the arc. And he lobs it up top. And McGee with the stuff. You got to be impressed with Fox's court awareness. He has a feel for when one of his guys is uncovered. One ten left in the first. Leonard looking around. Back to Powell. Fades and shoots. Rebounded by Fox. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you've hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Pass to Plumley. To the inside. Here's Leonard. And it's out of bounds to the Clippers as the Clippers retain possession. Some changes for Sacramento. Damana Sabonis comes in for McGee, and Mitchell subbed in for Fox. Monk against Powell. Here's Plumley. Leonard on the wing. With the fadeaway. And after missing his first three shots, he drains it. One for four. I know he was wide open, but that fadeaway was cash. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. There's Herter with the three. He drops it from range. And the Kings lead by 12. They've played with fantastic energy from the opening tip. Well, you set the tempo early, and when you get command and control of a game, it's perfect. Leonard for three. Gets the three to fall. Leonard's got five points. I love when Kawhi Leonard evens things up. You make a three, I'm coming right back at you. And it's Mitchell, the miss. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Oh, he drains the three. But let's see. They may need to review it. I'm not sure the ball was out of his hand in time. And it looks like they are going to review them. The previous play is under Get the basket off in time or not. And the video is going to be sent to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus. It looked like he got it off in time, though. Play was conclusive. Call overturned. Grant, that one's going to count. And B.A., you can argue against replay all you want, but at the end of the day, you want it to be a level playing field. You want the call to be correct. And so it's De'Aaron Fox making highlights for the Sacramento Kings. Moving the rock and looking for a shot. It's clear he's in a good rhythm. More 2K action in just a moment.
Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Kings. Yeah, their early focus on outside scoring has paid off. They're finding plenty of points from three-point land. I think the other thing they've done a great job of is making their presence felt inside, converting tons of pain opportunities. We always see trends come and go in the NBA, Grant. It seems like in the current era, the pick and roll is the go-to offensive set. Oh, no question, B.A. To be competitive these days, you have to be able to run the pick and roll very, very well. And that's why lead guard play is so important right now in the league. On the court for Sacramento. Mitchell and Monk, they're the backcourt. Demonis Sabonis out there with Trey Lyles. And it's Herter in at the three slot. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. And for Los Angeles, their shooting has been excellent so far, around 56%. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Brian, with PG and Kawhi, the Clippers feel they have the talent to win it all. George said, quote, both of us internally had a promise to bring a championship here. This core has been here for years now. And when you look at the teams that win and are very successful, it's the teams that have been together, gel and connect. Brian? Yeah, that's the right philosophy there. All about health. Thanks, Allie. Here's Lyles. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Lyles has got five. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Now here's Powell. No points yet. Pass to Plumley. Shoots over Sabonis. Plumley, no good. Sacramento has gone four of six from three point range thus far. Herder passes to Monk. Out to the right wing. And here's Sabonis outside. And the Kings with another three. Well, the rock solid mechanics of DeMontis Sabonis in the catch and shoot. Pass to George. Plumley with it. Back to George. And he finishes. That makes him four out of five. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Mitchell against Westbrook. Right side, Mitchell. Sabonis. No luck on that one. Westbrook with the defensive effort. Pass to Powell. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. Powell's got his first bucket in this one. I'll tell you, I'd love to see someone take the contact head on. And Norman Powell welcoming the challenge. Monk passes to Sabonis. Herder against George. Outside Monk. Sabonis in the post. He's got five. Ooh, good D by Plumley. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Seven-point differential. You've allowed Paul George to lock in and get his rhythm. Now you better start to stop him. Now here's Mitchell. No made baskets yet. Pass to Lyles. Now here's Sabonis. He's checked by Plumley. Tucker drives it in. And Powell with the stuff. Love the assertiveness of Norman Powell. Boy, turn the lights out. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Sabonis with a screen on Westbrook. Mitchell, the pass to Sabonis over Westbrook. Sacramento again missing. Los Angeles has gone three of six from deep so far. Oh, what a performance offensively. <laughs> They're really rolling at that end. Excellent game plan. Monk with a steal. Pass to Herter. Let's go with a three. Fires in the triple. Herter's got six points. How about the timing? Can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Powell outside. Now Tucker. Fires the three. And the Clippers hit again from deep. I know he 
He's not the most efficient long-range shooter, but Tucker hits enough of those to space out the defense. Pass to Herter. Back to Mitchell. Sabonis with it. Herter from long range. Rebounded by Russell Westbrook. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Now George. And out of bounds. The Kings will take it. And a new group getting ready for the Clippers. Zubats. He's checked in for Plumley. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Tucker. Man, he's checked in for Powell. And it's James Harden in for Russell Westbrook. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Keegan Murray's checked in for Lyles. Harrison Barnes comes in for Herter. Ellis is checked in for Monk. And De'Aaron Fox is subbed in for Mitchell. Now here's Sabonis. Five points in the game. Pass to Fox. Buries it from three. 14 points for him. I like it. Setting up Fox that time. Getting him something in rhythm. Zubats with a screen on Fox. Harden, the pass to George. Back to Harden. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. What a terrific pass. Work the ball inside and create a good look for your teammate. Sacramento has got it going from distance in the second quarter. Four of five from deep. Pass to Ellis. On the wing, Murray. Barnes against George. Just four to shoot. Barnes passes to Sabonis. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. Count it! Leonard for three! Well, ready on the catch. Your pre-shot preparation is on point. Kawhi, the catch and shoot. All right, Grant, talking about Avita Zubac, what do you like most about his game? Well, just his defensive presence. I mean, he's willing to challenge shots at the rim, refusing to give anything easy. Well, tremendous defensive effort on the interior. That's the kind of contest you want. It's stolen by Fox. Back come the Kings in transition. Ellis passes to Murray. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Westbrook, he's checked in for Paul George. McGee, he's checked in for Sacramento. No good on that one. And I think Murray attacks the game like only a young man can. Every play, every possession, he's looking to leave his mark. Now here's Leonard. Give him eight points now. Three-pointer, Harden. It's good. And the assist that time from Leonard. Leonard's got three assists in the game. Good decision-making. Scopes the situation, puts the pass right on the mark. Here's Barnes. Pass to McGee. Here's Fox. There's the drive. It's good. He's 6 for 12 from the floor. And this is Fox at his best, slamming his foot on the gas pedal and scoring with confidence. Here's Zubats, covered by McGee. McGee against Zubats. Oh, from deep. They get it back. Here's Leonard. Leonard on the wing. The three. Count it. He's four for eight now. Well, this is Zubats. He's such a team first guy. You find an open teammate, put the ball where it needs to be. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Barnes with a screen on Westbrook. Outside Murray. Three-pointer. Another three for Sacramento. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Now Harden. He's got five. It's stolen by Barnes. Again, the Kings score. 
That's just terrific decision making by Barnes. Pulls up to get just enough separation and drains it. That's really pretty. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. The Kings on top, up by four. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Boy, it's been one outstanding game from De'Aaron Fox. I'll tell you what, he's still working on his playmaking skills, but he's been tremendous so far in finding the open man. Well, what he did was sustain it throughout the first half. He ran the offense to absolute perfection. Filling out the wings, it's Mann and George. Kawhi and Zubats make up the front court, and it's Harden in at the one. That's the group starting the second half for Ty Lue. Here's Ellis. Yet to see a basket. Fox, the pass to Ellis. Out to Fox. Just five on the clock. Pulls up, high post. Again, the king score. Smart play by Fox. If you can't find penetration, take what you can get. Here's Harden. And then Harden with the jam. He sees the tall defender, and he just gets more aggressive. The Kings leading. Sabonis outside. To the paint. Here's Fox. The shot is good on the assist by Sabonis. Sabonis has got three assists in the game. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. You have to give Paul George a lot of credit. He's willingly accepted a secondary role in the Clippers. He said, quote, Kawhi is the number one. I'm the number two. There is no ego. I'm totally fine with that. I try to compliment him and also take the load off of him. And Brian, when they are both right, there's not a better tandem in the game. Mm, good point. Top tier. Thanks, Allie. Yeah, with that deep stroke, I like Barnes's ability to switch between the three and four spots. Two distinct things in terms of spacing on the floor and the requirements of the jobs. Now here's Harden. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. And here's Sabonis. He'll bring it up for Sacramento. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Here's Ellis. He's scoreless. Late clock here. The Kings need to get one up. Knocks down the triple. And it's a nine-point Kings lead. Everything is dropping for them. Just a terrific third-period run. And I think it's been all about their offensive efficiency, shooting the lights out in this quarter. Now here's Leonard. He's got 11. And it's slammed in by Zubats. Oh, my goodness. What a gritty finish from Zubats. Big fella. Okay. If I'm a young fan watching the NBA, Kawhi Leonard is a guy I'm keeping a close eye on, Grant. He does everything the right way. B.A., so much to like about Kawhi's game and how he carries himself. He takes so much pride in what he does on both ends of the floor. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. 
And looking at Fox, a microwave score and Tasmanian Devil running up and down the floor. A fun player to watch. And he's good on the second. The Clippers have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Harden against Fox. And then Harden with the jam. This is James Harden deep in his bag. Off the dribble drive. Put that defender in the rear view, James. Pass to Sabonis. Here's Fox. And Fox powers it home. And he just driving the stake in him there. He's a guy who just never lets up. Well, you love that he wants to wear out the defense. What a catalyst for his team. Incredible. Now here's Harden. 12 points for him. Now the Kings in transition. And Fox powers it home. Just a fantastic defender. Fox starting the break with the steal. Harden with it. He's picked up by Barnes. Here's George. And the jam by George. Look out below. <laughs> you got no chance of defending him right there. Here's Ellis. Still without a bucket. The three from Barnes. Another three for Sacramento. I'll tell you, the thing about Barnes, sometimes struggles to create the tight handle he continues to work on, really thrives when it's catch and shoot. Now here's Leonard. He's got 11. Leonard spikes it down. With a strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. Here's Fox. Paul George pulls it in. For Los Angeles, they've gone 6 of 7 and appearing confident in this half. Leonard passes to Zubat. Right side, Harden. Back to Zubats. And there's a three-second violation. I think that's going to stick with them for a while. Huge mistake at a critical juncture in the game. And I think the intention doesn't always equal the result. Wrong play, wrong time. And the Clippers making a change here. Westbrook's checked in. And the Kings also making a change. Monk's checked in. Now here's Fox. 25 points in the game. A deep three. Knocks down the long J. Fox has got 28 points for the game. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Look at all the turnovers. Boy, what a way to drive your coach crazy. Yeah, your game plan means nothing if your players can't execute. Well, with that frame, that power, James Harden leaves no doubt. The Kings have gotten eight of nine to fall. Terrific offense so far in this third quarter. Fox outside. Inside, Zubac with the steal. Takes a step back to the middle. Here's Westbrook. No luck on that one. Oh, some solid defense from Fox. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. Outside Monk. Pass to Murray. Right wing. Clock at six. Leonard against Monk. And it's off from three-point range. For Los Angeles, they've gotten seven of their nine shots to fall. Quality shooting in the second half. And 
the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. There are nights where it's impossible to stop Paul George. He is such a strong guy who knows how to convert through these plays. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Kings. Well, you've got to give them credit for how aggressive they've been on defense. Getting the opposition to cough it up and then making them pay on the other end. And their fast break has also been a key metric in this one. They have had a significant advantage in transition over the course of this game. 141 left to play in the third quarter. Fox feeling it out a bit. Pass to Herder. Down low. Lyles, shot is good. Lyles has got seven. Always helps to get these kinds of looks, right? Super easy to convert from that distance. Leonard outside. Double team on Leonard. Back to Westbrook. Oh, he tries a three. Yes, and it's Leonard with the assist that time. Nine points in the game. Uh, Kawhi Leonard understands when and where to deliver the ball to his teammates. Pretty play. Monk passes to McGee. Here's Lyles. Launches a three. Gets the three ball to go. Lyles has got five points now in the quarter. <laughs> this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Fox with the ball. He's picked up by Westbrook. Here's Lyles. And the Kings with another three. I love watching Fox distribute the ball, knowing it's part of his role to involve his teammates. Here's George. Oh, and the dunk by George. That is Paul George, the incredible vertical and the unbelievable creativity. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. McGee, a screen on Westbrook. Pass to Herder from deep. And the Kings with another three. He's been playing great unselfish basketball, really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. And he has shown a terrific feel for how the defense is playing him and then taking advantage of that. Sends it home from three-point land. George has got 10 points in just the second half. Fires from way outside. And so it's the Sacramento Kings earning this break in the action up 10. A three points is better than two. They built this lead by tacking on that extra point at the end of possession. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. And so in the game for the Kings... Mitchell and Monk, they're the backcourt. Then there's Kevin Herter. Then it's Demonis Sabonis. And it's Vizinkov in at the power forward position. Now here's Sabonis. Over Plumley. Powell pulls it in. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Here's Powell. Oh, Sabonis with the steal. Herter finds Mitchell from 13. The Clippers grab the miss. Now here's Tucker.
Powell right side. And Powell with the stuff. Wow, with contact in the restricted area, Norman Powell, pretty play. Monk passes to Sabonis. To the inside. And Sabonis slams it in. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Up top, Westbrook. Checked by Mitchell. Pass to Powell. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. The Clippers making a switch here. Harden's checked in. Lyles, he's checked in for the Kings. Ellis comes in for Mitchell. First team foul. And the line for LA, Norman Powell. One shot. Well, one thing there's no question about is that Norman Powell is a gifted athlete. Now it's about rounding out that game, particularly his shooting. Now here's Sabonis. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Sabonis with a screen on George. Herter can't hit. And Harden's got the ball here for the L.A. Clippers. A great fourth quarter. Just giving up two points. First free throw is good. Westbrook, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Plumlee hits them both. And here's Monk. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Sabonis against Plumley, Stolen by Harden. From the top of the key, that one's good. Nothing but net. Well, there's the all-out hustle Tucker is known for. Beats his man in transition easily. Outside Herter. To the paint. Shots good by Sabonis. And the Kings lead by five. In crunch time, trying to get the foul, the bucket, or both. It's stolen away. Here's Ellis. Pass to Lyles. Monk for three. Hits a three-pointer. I love the efficiency he's playing with tonight. Not scoring as much as usual, but he's been effective, and they're winning. Here's Harden. Shot from the low post is good. Harden's got 11 points here in the second half. This speaks to the strength that James Harden possesses. He is so good at finishing through contact. Monk passes to Ellis. Back to Monk. Five to shoot. Fires the three. And Tucker pulls it down for Los Angeles. They've got all four shots to go in this final quarter. Plumley passes to George. Westbrook left side. Let's it go. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Ellis. Pass to Herter. Jacks up a three. Knocks it down from distance. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Time called here. 
Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Zubats, he's checked in for Plumley. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Tucker. And it's Mann in for Russell Westbrook. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Guys, over the last break, I listened to Tyron Lue address the team. He isn't liking what he's seeing out there on the perimeter, saying to his guys, defensively, we're too lax, and they're getting any three they want. And offensively, the ball movement, it isn't crisp, which is why we're not getting many opportunities from outside. I want to see improvement on both ends. Thank you for that, Allie. Now here's Harden. Pass to man. Inside. Here's Zubats. For three, George. And he drains another one. He's now 10 of 11 from the field. Well, Paul George is a big time scorer, and it matters not where he is, but you give him a corner three, he'll take it. Box the pass to Sabonis. And Harden with the block. Leonard outside. Zubats. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Barnes finds Fox. Back to Barnes. George against Murray. Pass to Sabonis. And the foul called on Paul George. That's foul number two for him. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. with the ball that one's good and it's Barnes with the assist Fox has got 14 points now in the second half a 6-3 point guard Fox has solid size at the one and it really helps him out inside Harden the pass to man oh and that one no question powered it down this has been the story of the game, a battle fought on offense. And it is a major disadvantage down the stretch if you can't guard. This may just come down to who has the ball last. And Fox has got the ball here for Sacramento. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. To the inside. And Sabona slams it in. That gives him a double-double. Uh, DeMontis Sabonis has filled out his frame, and if you need some physicality around the rim, this guy is willing to do it. On the wing man. And the Clippers again with a bucket. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. Here's Ellis. And such a nice move to make that bucket possible. And the Kings lead by eight. And that's not a move we typically see from him. <laughs> wow. Harden against Fox. Pass to Zubas. Here's Mann from outside the arc. On target from range. Mann's got seven points here in the quarter. And that's a clutch shot by a big-time shooter. And where's the D? Timeout called. The Kings. They're in front by five. 141 left in the fourth quarter here.
141 left in the fourth. Harden against Fox. Down low. And Sabonis slams it in. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Harden against Fox. And it's slammed in by Zubox. Wow, they needed a bucket, and Zubox answers the call big time. Harden against Fox. One oh five left in the fourth quarter of this one. Shot clock at six, and there's the foul. It's on even to Zubats. That'll be a second foul of the game. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. One oh two left in the fourth quarter. Here's Fox, and that one drops for him. Fox has got thirty two points. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Well, when it's closing time, he's trying to lock the door. He's been going all night. Now here's Zubac. Here's Harden. Back to Zubac. Shoots over Sabonis. Zubac shot is off. Here are the Kings with the ball now. They lead by seven. Fox finds Barnes. Here's Ellis. He's guarded by Zubac. Here's Fox. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. James Harden picks one up. Fox gets the defender with the oldest trick in the book, using the pump fake to get a trip to the free throw line. At the line for two. Shooting two. He gets the first, and that stretches their lead to eight. Second one is good, getting both at the line. And it's a nine-point game here. You've got to show composure, and he comes through right when the team needs him most. Over to the left wing. Here's Zubats. Again, the Clippers score. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. Here's Ellis. So it's Sacramento picking up the win. And they barely squeezed out the win here on the road. And B.A., the visiting team is always under some added pressure. But they made it work and got the win, whatever the margin may have been. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Harrison, we saw some hot shooting for you. Did you have a sense coming in that you were poised for a performance like this? Uh, you know, just trying to let it fly. You know, that's been a big message our coach has been trying to preach to us. Uh, the coaching staff really is just play loose, play free, uh, go out there you know, and have some fun, and that's what we did tonight. You have the green light. Thanks, Harrison. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Brian Anderson signing off. Last but not least, here is your New Balance player of the game, De'Aaron Fox.